Hi everyone, it's Sophia Hodgson from Rusty Blue 85 and today I will be setting up my June bullet journal. Um, so I gave my Instagram followers, sorry my brain's just gone blank, I gave my Instagram followers the chance of choosing my bullet journal theme for uh, this month. Uh, so we had the kind of Dusk Galaxy choice or the Rainbow choice because it's Pride Month um, in June, so uh, rainbows. Um, However, overwhelming majority went for dusk, so I got 63 versus 37, so no rainbow this year, um, and I'm going to be focusing on the dusk, um, and I'd quite like to try, uh, I've never done this before, like a an illustrative cover page, um, this may all go hideously wrong, um, but I've got this gorgeous neat and tangled stamp set and I just thought you know kind of whilst, whilst we're in lockdown and there's kind of less going on in our lives I'd like to just try a cover page and if I don't like it then I don't have to do it again um so for these um washies not all of them are from the dusk set so they are all simply gilded this time around um I don't always use simply gilded but it just so happened so um These ones are the Dusk Galaxy 5 um, and those are the 5mm add-ons. Um, so this mini 5mm um, Shooting Stars is from the Desert Dance um, subscription box but I thought it went perfectly so uh, I decided to add it. This is from the Northern Comfort uh, subscription box, which was a kind of wintry one, but I just thought that the the, the blue blue grey went really really well with the the whole theme. Um, this is from the Enchanted Garden sub box, um, and this was a pre-order that went with the Enchanted Garden, um, but wasn't part of the part of the Enchanted Garden, it kind of, it, it was released as a pre-sale earlier. And this is, ooh, where's it gone? One of the uh, 12 Days of Christmas from the Simply Gilded Advent Calendar for 2019. Uh, it's day two and it was the, I think, Love Stardust, but it's got, um, it's got rose gold and it's a very similar kind of pink to the these three washi here, so I was just like, I'll, I'll give that a go. Um, the more variety, the better. Um, so because we've got kind of rosy gold um, accents, I'm going to emboss that stamp with my Lawn Fawn Rose Gold embossing powder. Um, I've ordered a kind of blue-grey Altenew ink pad that it hasn't arrived yet, so the closest thing that I've kind of got ish is um, this Midnight Muse which was a in colour years and years and years ago so I don't know if you can still get this colour. Um, obviously when the Alter New arrives I'll um, swatch it and see how it goes and I may recommend that as a um, alternative colour if you can't get hold of Midnight Muse in the description below. Um, but now I'm going to speed up the video and start my setup. Um, what I might do is set up my month on two pages and then come back and do the um, uh, do the cover page just so that if I get distracted or the cats insist that I need to give them a bit more attention then at least I've got my month set up and then um, I can do the more artistic bits at a later date. So um, I will be massively speeding up this video and I'll put some music on uh, and I'll see you in a bit.
about that my camera ran out of battery so um, as you can see this has advanced quite a bit since the camera ran out of battery I just kind of kept going um, so as I mentioned earlier that is the neat and tangled um, stamp set from Moon and Star stamp set um, and I also wanted to add in this Alter New Kind Words um, stamp set as well um, because it's got the stars in it um, I thought it would mix in quite well and stick with the theme of the washi tape that I've been using for this this month um, so I oh um, so the, the quote for for this one is only in the darkness can you see the stars and that one is from that um, that stamp set um, so I used the Alta New Frosty Pink uh, ink and ink blending brush in the middle and then I worked out to the outside um, and was using Midnight Muse from Stamping Up. Um, I did stamp this with um, my Lawn Fawn Rose Gold um, embossing powder and I really didn't like the way it just didn't match the essentially copper foil on, on these washi tapes at all. Um, so that was what I had originally embossed with. Um, so I, because it's a clear stamp, I just stamped straight over it and re-embossed with copper embossing powder from Stampin' Up. Um, everything was looking great. I've just added um, a very, very thin layer of um, glaze over the top of it so that it the ink doesn't come off on my fingers too much because um, obviously I think if I, the more I handle this the bluer my fingers are going to get. Um, however, do as I say, don't do as I do um, because having embossed this twice with uh, rose gold and then copper, this happened. Um, so this is um, the scorching of the paper. So I would personally say I really, really wouldn't recommend uh, heat embossing in your Archer and Olive. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing because I, you know, I don't think your bullet journal was ever meant to be heat embossed into. It just I wanted to and I gave it a go and it doesn't look so great. So, oh well, lesson learned. Um, so I'm just going to do a very quick flip through for you. So I have my quote page and my cover page for the month, my calendar page for the month um, with all of the washi tape for, for the theme. I then have my habit tracker and mood tracker all still with the same colour scheme and stars and stripes. Oh, stars and stripes? Oh dear me, you can tell I've been watching too many YouTube videos about um, uh, Memorial Weekend. Um, so this is my first week for June um, and so far it's only got very very small bits and pieces in it. Um, that is a, oh I won't be able to find it now. Where have I put them? Uh, ah, there we go. So these are my notes and clips stickers so I use the notes and clips alphabet for my month um, habit tracker and mood tracker um, I will be using these little heart checklists I love using these um, flags um, that little to do sticker is, is from these headers and this little YouTube sticker is from these ones. So the um, I don't think the pink and the aqua go with the colour scheme, but the very, very pale pink does match with the colour scheme. So I, I'm going to be using the pale, pale pink ones. Um, and this is to remind me to upload this video on Monday evening. Um, so hopefully uh, you'll be seeing this on Monday evening. Um, I just want to say thank you for all of my Instagram followers who voted for the Dusk colour scheme to be my theme for this month. Um, I've really enjoyed it actually, I really like it. I probably will end up using this colour scheme again because it's very pretty, I love it. Um, 
so as I said thank you so much for watching uh, if you don't already subscribe please click the subscribe button um, let me know what you think of this uh, colour scheme or you know kind of whole theme um, in my bullet journal uh, have you ever had a little boo-boo like this um, because you tried something new in your bullet journal and it didn't quite go according to plan um, I'm going to pretend that because this looks kind of pink um, that it was intentional and that I did this on purpose to have the little moon and stars on, on this page as well as on this page <laughs> but um, it was not intentional it was a, a huge shock when I found it and uh, there was a bit of me that just thought oh my god I'm never going to show anyone my bullet journal ever again but I'm a starter this is my sixth month bullet journaling we all make mistakes we're all human so you know I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I I made this mistake and it's louder than life it's right on my um my calendar page so there's no way I can hide it so um oh well never mind thank you so much for sticking with me this has probably been a really long video because of me rambling away um take care everyone and I will see you in my next video bye